This is my 1975 Apollo Motorhome Dodge 440 motor that I currently have up for sale. As you can see, it's in pretty good shape. It's about 29 feet long. Rear tire's in good shape. Front tires are dried, need to be replaced. Front windows, side. I did a little research on it, and actually the resale value on these things are incredibly high. Surprised. But being a 1975, it's smog exempt, so I'm sure there's a lot of people that love that idea. I've got the uh, generator down here, water heater. Back. There's the rear window. And the rear hatch needs the hinges worked on a bit. There's a ladder up to the top. It's got two AC units on the top, one for the back bedroom, one for the front. Two gas tanks, primary and secondary. started replacing the trim. Still need to replace the ones at the top, but I got a bunch of trim that'll come with the sale of the motorhome. All the way down. Repainted the Apollos. Added a little Valkyrie decal. Give it a little spice. There's the door. The uh, frame around the window needs to be replaced. It's cracked, but it's holding. Inside. So here's your kitchen, or your gallery, or galley, stove, double sink, clean, cutting boards on top, you got your storage below, drawers, oven, there's a sofa over here that pulls out into a bed. The uh, old neon lights I've pulled down and started to convert them into LEDs. So the actual LED kits will be coming with the sale of this. One with the tables, chair, lots of storage in this thing. Here's the other front AC unit. This is driver's compartment. Only 80,000 miles on the motor. Previous owner said it was running just fine. Just replaced the ignition module. Needs the uh, master cylinder replaced. It's leaking. Carpet's not in bad shape. Here's your control panel here. And then the uh, vents on the top need to be replaced. They've dried out and started to crack, so those need to be replaced. They're not that expensive, though. And here's your back bedroom area. Need some mattresses. And then the uh, the old copper lines for the water heater froze and broke. So I don't know why, but they wired them kind of weird. So that needs to be replaced, but it's not, not very expensive. Rear bedroom sink. Mirror. Yeah. Medicine cabinet. Lots of tall storage. You got a uh, privacy door here for the bedroom. Closes. And for your bathroom, you have a full size shower enclosure, which is really cool. There's your toilet. Previous owner has a sign on there saying don't use the bathroom. I have a feeling it's probably because of the water issue. And you got uh, up here, you got a nice little spice rack. Again, some more storage here. More storage here. We got a uh, freezer, refrigerator, and a nice little spot for microwave with plug outlets. So it's all ready to rock and roll. So this is my motorhome for sale. Hope you enjoy.